Hey everybody, it's a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett, welcome. Today I'd like to pick up with what we started last week and that is to use these four points, four special points to enhance the chi flow and also improve your circulation. And this is something that is, um, we're kind of doing a lot if you're doing any kind of uh, internal martial art or, or qigong or anything, it's, it's kind of built into it, but it doesn't get a lot of attention, these, these points don't get a lot of attention. And I have found that by bringing attention and intention to these things, that you enhance their effect. So, yes, we can go through a, uh, the, uh, a mechanical... Uh, expression of a posture or a movement and that will have some effect on your your energy your circulation but the uh if you bring your attention to it and you create the ideal conditions for for that expression then it kind of ramps it up several notches and um this uh, kind of fits in with something uh, someone wrote to me uh, on, on YouTube in response to the uh, opening the jade pillow gate. You know, the question was, how much mental effort do I put into this? And uh, and I had to think about that because it's like, you know, well, it's it's not a binary question there because there is mental effort to make it to set up the conditions for it, but then you kind of have to let go and and allow it. So there's there's these both things are happening at the same time. So we're talking about opening the jade pillow gate. We're talking about you know that that spot here at the at the base of the skull where your topmost vertebra, your atlas, is it meets up with your occiput, this big bone right here at the back of your head. And uh, at the Atlanto occipital joint, and this is where, where we're designed to pivot from that from that point. And what happens though is, through the process of living, we tend to kind of move more and more in this kind of direction here, where we kink the hose in the uh, in that in that spot there. And it it what it does is it acts as a, uh, a an obstruction to the to the circulation of blood the circulation of chi the circulation of cerebral spinal fluid and so you're reducing the nutrients that your brain needs to function whenever you're whenever you're you're locked up in that spot and usually it'll you'll feel it in terms of neck tension or headaches or just a you know kind of a collapsing feeling, and it reduces your vitality. And so, in the uh, in the classics, they talk about whenever you open your jade pillow gate and you create some space there, then you get this rush of energy and blood and cerebral spinal fluid that, that it enhances your the flow. Uh, going into and out of the brain so that there is more nutrition going on there, more circulation in your, you, there's a consequent increase in your Jing Shen, which is the means that your spirit of vitality. So just by doing that, you're, you're getting more energy going into the, into your brain and allows for more of a connection with your whole body. And so whenever that goes into your brain and you and it gets circulated properly, then your whole body gets, feels the effects of that. And um, so the, the question there is how much effort? And so not very much, but there is some mental effort in getting the head in the right position because we have a tendency to lift our chin and, and just kind of let the, 
let the head sit back like that. So in order to to make it happen, you have to use some attention and intention. You have to want it to happen to make it happen. And so the sort of a both end kind of thing here, you use some degree of mental effort to make that, to establish your position. And then you allow it to do its work. So you don't have to force the chi to go, uh, you know, up your up your spine into your head if once you have the once you have the hose unkinked. But it does require a certain amount of mental effort in order to do it often until you establish a new pattern where you start to like that. You start to like the feeling of of having that expanded Jing Shen. So a similar thing happens whenever we're using these points. We need to put our attention on them and our intention, and we have to make them happen so that we can then let go. We can Then we can let the chi do its work. And then after a while, it becomes so, they become so natural, become so, so uh, easy that we don't have to think about them much at all. But there is, they're never more than a thought away that you have these, these points. And if you can establish your patterns, you can establish your, uh, you know, some, some good practices, then you're going to, your body's going to respond to that and it creates more, more energy. So the, um, the points I'm talking about, first of all, is the, right here at your, in the, your armpit here is, you poke in a, with your with your finger and then poke into that. And there's a, you find a tender spot there usually. And that's your heart one point. And that is your, your G, uh, your G, G, Chuan, G Chuan. And that's uh, what it means is the utmost source is the, is the, uh, is the name for it. That's the, that's the, the name that they assign it. And that means it's, it's your heart one. This is regulates your interface between heaven and earth chi, and it circulates, it's circulates uh, your blood throughout your body. It's sort of a, a, a big governor. And whenever that is open, which we tend to do when we're doing our forms and things like that, we kind of move in counter to our natural tendency to kind of collapse our, our structure and around this, maybe even protect the, uh, you know, the body more and uh, so we're opening up and that creates more circulation throughout the whole system so that that governs your blood circulation but also your chi circulation throughout the whole body the other points are right here at your at your um, on your inguinal crease about halfway there, there there's the uh, stomach 30 and this is uh, these points, uh, this is your um, uh, qi chong, which means your rushing qi or your penetrating qi. So it's a very dynamic kind of um, yang qi. It, 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 it amplifies the qi in the whole system. So we get these, these four points together and we use them to create this alchemy where we are enhancing chi flow, enhancing blood circulation throughout the whole system. And this enhances your health and your well-being, but it's also very powerful in creating you know, ample energy for your internal arts as well. So that's, a, uh, that's what we're going for. So we're going to do a little... Uh, exercise, um, we uh, started it last week, then we're going to kind of play around with more if we have some time and uh, take it to another thing. So let's uh, stand up and uh, we'll, uh, we'll play around with these, these, these four points. Okay, step out, and let's feel the uh, your uh, three pillars. We'll start with that. Feel your 
the balls of your feet, center your weight over the balls of your feet, and kind of press down with your toes a little bit, just kind of very lightly, just make contact with the earth there. The weight is spread throughout the foot, but you're really kind of focusing, centering on the, uh, on the ball of the foot. And then reach with the crown of your head, very gently, like you're extending upward as if you want to touch the ceiling, you're elongating your spine, but you're not forcing anything. And drop your chin just a little bit, just very lightly, and reach back with your head, with your neck, as if you're, you're trying to touch the, uh, the back of your collar. Thank you, Nick, for that, that image. That's it. So you're reaching back with your head as if you want to touch your, the back of your collar with, your, with your, the back of your neck. And this opens up the jade pillow gate very lightly and not forcing anything. You know, gradually through repetition, open up more and more. Knees are unlocked. Relax your lower back. Reach out a little bit with your elbows so your arms are slightly rounded. This opens up your, your shoulder joints. Point and reach with your index fingers and feel your energetic coherence. And open up your hip joints, just rotate, kind of feel sink into your hip joints and feel yourself connecting more with the earth. Okay, then reach up with your wrists and rotate your forearms and bend backward. You're arching your back, opening your chest, opening your shoulders, bring your arms up to about chest height, reaching backward, opening. So you're really getting very open here. And so we're, we're creating space there at the at the armpits. We're also opening up here at the uh, Chi Chung points. And sink into your right foot and turn to your left. And sink into your left foot and turn to your right. And then Back and bring your hands down, press down, sink, sink into your heels. And pause and just feel the energy circulation. Sink into your heels and feel the yin. So like you're sinking down, down, down and everything is flowing downward now. We did a big expansion there. Now we're going to we're going to sink and allow things to settle out. Now sink into the balls of your feet, reach with your wrists, your fingers, and open, reach, arch your back, Turn, reach. Feel that expansion. Looking up at the ceiling. And then back to center. Right hand comes down. Turn and reach up and press in at your heart one point, your chi chuan, reach up with your left hand and turn, reach, arch your back, reach and circle, reaching with your arm. We really just want to feel that relationship there, feeling that openness of those channels of moving through your torso, through your arms, and then right hand comes up, left hand comes down, 
Reaching up with the right hand now, press in with your left hand on the heart one point. Arch your back, reach, open, extend. Back to center, right hand comes down. Arms come down to your stomach 30 points. You want to massage those just kind of gently. And then press in on the stomach 30 points. You just find a, find a tender spot there right in the middle. And you're probably right on the money. So, and then bend your knees and bow forward. Press again. Sink. Sink into your heels. You get very yin here. And then come up. Breathe. Hands come down, sink at your heels, and feel into the yin. Feel the circulation in your, in your, particularly in your arms. Feel the, uh, the pericardium meridian, which goes from the middle finger on the inside of your arm up to, uh, up to your heart. And, uh, do that in both hands, and then the triple warmer meridian comes up the middle finger, up the outside of the arm, and up into your head. And so both of those feel the chi flow in both of those meridians right now. It's particularly um, important in this month. Yeah, so we'll go to the balls of your feet and reach up with your wrists and your fingers. Open your back, reach with your elbows. Open your shoulders. Sink into your left foot, bow down to the left. Sink into the right foot, bow down to the right. Sink into the left foot, bow down to the left. And step back, right hand comes down. Step back with your right foot. Right hand comes up. And then, um, your uh, left hand circles and a right foot, uh, right hand comes up, left foot comes back, reach, and we're going into a, uh, a white crane spreads wings posture. And then sink into your left foot, press down with your right hand. Arm is very relaxed. Reach with your elbow, reach with your wrist, press down. And then pivot on your right heel. So you're turning your foot out. And the right left hand comes across, right hand comes up. And step. Sink into your left. And turn and reach forward with your right hand. Feel the, the, those four points in just posture. Very just, just allow your mind to settle on them. Don't think about them, just feel them. And then step up with your Right foot, hands come down, 
Take it to your heels. And feel the chi in your forearms, in your hands. Feel those, those, the pericardium and triple warmer meridians particularly. So this is gradually learning to, to notice the chi flows in the different meridians by heightening the, um, the, the chi flow in, in specific points there. We create more of an opportunity to, to feel them as distinct entities. So sink at the balls of your feet, reach up at the wrists. Reach with the fingers, open the shoulders. And sink into the right foot. Left foot, and then right foot, step back with your left foot, and right hand comes around, left hand comes up, and Sink into your right foot, left hand comes down. Pivot on your left heel, right hand comes across. Be that open, open your, your armpits, open your, your claw, reach, step, and brush knee twist step. Feel that expansion, feel the, the flow. Step in, right the left foot. Take it to your heels and feel the yin. Allow your body to get very relaxed, very sung. You're releasing muscular tension and you're just relying on the intrinsic structure of your body. Now sink into your right, right heel, pivot on your left heel, turn out and arch your back. Just let your arms get very sung, let them hang and arch your back, look up to the ceiling, breathe, get very sung in this posture, very open and come up. Pivot on your left heel and pivot on your right heel. Turn to the right and open. And back up and pivot. Yeah, sink at your heels. Feel the feel the chi flow in your body. You don't have to do anything, just allow it. Because it knows where to go. It's uh Increasing your your circulation like this sort of acts like a power wash in your your veins and arteries and capillaries. It moves junk along. And creates more internal space. And that increased chi goes to feed every cell in your body. Mm 
All right, so we're going to do another exercise. Use the same idea here. We're still filling into those those four points, but not very uh, with very little effort, mental effort, just kind of just creating space for this flow to happen. So sink into your right, spiral down, pivot on your left heel. And sink into your, your left heel, set your knees, spiral down, and bring your left arm up, your right hand down as if you're holding a ball here, and just allow yourself to sink into that. Now pick into pick up your your right heel and step out. Place your right foot on a 45. So, and then you're going to feel the right heel, set the right knee, spiral down to the right. So, and open up your armpits, reach with your elbows, reach with your wrists. You're sinking into that right leg now. You're feeling the opening at the, at the Chi Chung point here. And want to kind of feel the, the left armpit and, and the right qual here. And then we're going to reach with the right elbow and reach with the right wrist. Reach the opposite direction with the left elbow, pulling back as if you're pulling them apart and pivot on your left heel as your body turns and reach and open, reach with your fingers, reach down with your left hand. Look, uh, look at through your fingers and gaze to gaze to to the distance there to infinity, and just really feel that sense of expansion as you're doing this. We're doing a a diagonal flying slant flying posture from the from the yang form, and we're opening up here. And just feel the opening at both armpits and at both uh, uh, both stomach 30 points. And then sink into your right foot. Actually, sink into your left foot. Pivot on your right. Turn that up to uh, 45 degrees. So it's facing toward the wall there. And you're going to sink into the right and... Spiral down to the right, hold the ball, and pick up your left heel. And as you're sinking in here, reach open with the, open your arms, reach with the elbows, and, and it's step on the 45 with the left foot. So then you sink into the left heel, set the left knee, and you're opening you're really opening here at the qua, both of, uh, and, and both of them. And so you're really feeling those, those chi chung points very open here. And then turn, you're pulling, reach with the elbows. The elbows are pulling in opposite directions. The wrists are pulling in opposite directions. And the fingers are uh, kind of like the fingers are kind of trying to grab each other, but there's like, like filaments between them as you turn pivot on the left heel and rotate your forearm palm up and reach with the, the left hand. And you're also reaching with the right hand. Uh, you're really opening up the, uh, the armpits here, those heart one points. And feel that young expansion. Think of your left claw. Spiral down, step up with your right foot so that your feet are parallel, sink into your right, and hands come down. Sink into your heels, and feel the yin. Very soon. Feel your blood. 
moving in your inside your body. Think of your right foot, step in with your left. Take a deep breath, go to the balls of your feet, inhale. Get very young and then into your heels and exhale and throw it all away. Disappear the chi. Empty out. And dissolve into the emptiness. Please take a seat. How'd that go? Lynn, you got a, you got something? Man, the when we were doing the slanting flying in particular, I just got this like somebody was had a heat lamp on my right ear. It was just <laughs> just and then it <laughs> right down, and then we were just standing. I could feel the other ear as well, but man, this one was just fiery. I it was wow. wild. I don't know what that means, cool. but uh, it's a new one. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do things Something different. going on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it definitely cranks up the heat. I just said uh, where where it goes. <laughs> yeah. It's got a mind of its own. <laughs> Apparently, I, I, my ear needed some... Uh... Needed some love. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Valerie. Um, I don't know if it was the first time we did uh, Stork Pool's Wings or second one. Uh, but... Wow. <laughs> I had all four points were working good. Uh, last week, Lynn had talked about feeling the stomach points when we were doing brush knee and holding that posture. And as typical, you know, she can't feel something and me not feel it. That's that's just not right. <laughs> and I didn't get that last week. But I am so glad you went back to this this week because, you know, it's like the first time kind of feel myself around and it's like kind of what's happening. And so this week it was much more solid and the sensations, the experience that I could feel um, was very tangible. It was very powerful and very cool, very cool. Very cool. And yeah, I got the stomach points. Boy, I can feel that opening up. Um, so yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> Great. Anybody else? Any other? Scott. Um, so when you said fill our blood, I was like, usually when you say that, I'm like, yeah, I can't do that. And tonight I was like, oh, yeah. I didn't even think about it. I was like, yeah, I can feel it. It's going everywhere. <laughs> Sometimes you got to crank up the volume a little bit to be able to hear it. But uh, yeah, yeah, the volume was really loud. <laughs> nice. Very so good. interestingly, interestingly enough, I was doing pretty much what we just did this morning in my form. Oh, nice. Yeah, and I just flag? well, I was doing. Um, the beginning of William's form and I was doing it really slow and deliberately and kind of what we were doing tonight, the way we were feeling it. I wasn't really feeling the point so much, but every other part of it. And what I realized is that, you know, just the letting, just letting it happen a bit more and not trying to make it happen. You know, nice. and it really, it really made a difference. Yeah. Um, but then you can't not try to make it happen either yeah it's, you, you got you got <laughs> you got to set it up and then let it go but it's kind of uh, like you, you said before it's the in you know you need to intention and then just mostly let it go and just yeah it's a, it's a there's a sweet spot and it's really once you find it it's awesome but it's hard to find yeah 
but it, it's it's fun. Uh, once you get there, it's like whoa, mm -hmm. this is cool. Yeah. And, and what you're doing then, you know, is is kind of what I'm suggesting here is that is every movement in any form can be done this way. You know, it doesn't have to be done this way all the time. It just it's you know this mm -hmm. cranks up the volume so that you can notice things that would ordinarily uh, you wouldn't notice, like like actually having a really nice set of speakers and like you turn the volume up a little bit. It's like, oh, I never I never heard that before. And, mm -hmm. and it's like, you know, you've got your, you know, your body's doing it. It's like, oh, my God, this is that bass line there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it uh, uh, you get you get to then it becomes more available to you, even a lower volume. Mm -hmm. Jonathan, you had something. Uh, you know, Scott noticed I'm wearing a collar shirt for the first time, and uh, synchronistically, you, from Nick, I guess you're talking about <laughs> reaching towards the back of it. I had a collar to reach for, which is great. Uh, yeah. I have to say, of all the moves we do, this is the one that seems to take most of my conscious attention, or I just forget about it. Uh, it takes a lot of attention for me to to maintain that. And I'm just wondering if part... It, You're talking about it, opening the jade pillow gate. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. About touching the back of the collar or whatever. I mean, the reaching was... Yeah. When we reached through the crown, that that seems gentle enough. But it, 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 it there's a stiffening I can't help but feel. And I, whatever I... I mean, the point is I'm countering, obviously, 70, soon to be 71 years of, of this. So yeah. there's no given moment that, oh, 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 hey, fix that. So... I, I, I don't even know what I'm saying. I mean, it's like if I did nothing else but concentrated on that for the week, I, I think I, mm. it would be a tremendous uh, growth for me. I think because that's true if, for, for most of us. It, it's, it's, yeah, because if the head's not right, everything else isn't going to be quite right. I mean, it, yeah, it's, like the, it's almost like the first thing. Uh, so um, I don't know. Like, okay, homework. You got, this, you got this 10 pound bowling ball that, you know, you kind of, if, if you don't right. bounce, Right. You're working. You're working too hard. Right. right. And I, I, so I want to get to the point where, it, it, I mean, it feels so strange to do this. I can feel its power, but it also, I guess there must be some way of, it shouldn't feel stiff, right? It should feel just opening, right? Everything should feel like a, re a relief of tension, not a creation of tension, right? Don't right. keep shitting on yourself, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I hear you, Val. I, 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 I don't. I, I should avoid that word. I, I do try. Uh, if I can say it without it. I'll, I'll try. But let me just say that. Um, how does? How, how about of a question? How about if I just do that? How does one take a lifetime habit, switch it to something, and monitor that it's doing? The, I mean, do, will I have it right if I'm not feeling tension? Or am I going to feel stiff and is it just going to feel stiff and strange and strained because it's so not what I've been doing, I guess. Everything else we, everything we do seems like, ah, relief, a release of tension. But there's something about this that I feel like I'm, you know, almost stiffening to, you know, hey, because it wants to do this so badly. It's such a heavy thing that wants to, and I'm saying, no, no, you can't do that. You can, yeah. Get back, get back there. <laughs> Uh, so I guess I just have to play with it, and I don't know how much the scapula comes in because that's like the base on which this 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 you know this head is resting. So, I mean, at the same time, does one become more aware of the scapula and the shoulders and the whole system that's now being you know rearranged, right? So maybe it's a mistake to just yeah end it at the collar. No, go go beneath the collar, behind the collar. And 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 really pay attention to the coordination of what your back is doing to allow this bowling ball to come back. Yeah, I think you're speaking for a lot of people there, Jonathan, because this is this is something like I've been working on it for 25 years. You know, so it's and I still I'm still working on it. It's still a work in progress because we're not designed. You know. <laughs> To yeah. do it correctly, we're designed. We're designed to to kind of um, let let things hang, and uh, this is uh, this is a little different. This requires yeah. a conscious intention to do it, and you know, 
and to some degree of, of I hate to use the word effort because that usually brings in you know uh, a lot of muscular tension for people, but there is it does require you know working at it and attention and, to it and not to forget about it. I mean, it's, yeah. you know, there's so much we're doing with our arms, our feet. And, and, oh, whoa! But this is you know your teachings was so much about the finger, but this is actually just as important it seems as an initial put the yeah. key in the ignition thing. Right? You, had, you, had, you asked a question. I'm going to say what, what works for me is uh, I focus on, I don't focus on the tension, which is all the shit that's got to, has got to, I have yet to do, I've yet to work on. I focus on the jingshen that releases every time I gently do that. Mm -hmm. Every time I say, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. So that way, my attention is like, oh, there's so much more to go. Oh, I'm only on mile one of the marathon. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, there's some, they got so far to go. <laughs> it's like, no, no, no. This is, oh, that was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and like you celebrate uh, every time because every time it's like this. You, you've been given a gift instead of the entropy of the, of, of the body mind just falling apart over time. This is, oh, we're reversing it momentarily. We we're, we're, have some neg entropy going on there. Yeah. yeah. So, Nick, That's you had good. something. Well, yeah, I just want to, for the sake of the conversation that's going on here, um, two things. You just used the word gently, and I think that's really important to, to for everybody to remember because when I was listening to Jonathan earlier, when he kept talking about, you know, feeling the tension and the and the stiffness and the, there's a there's a balance between forming the intention and allowing it to happen and finding a place where you're moving in the right direction. But if you're forcing, then you are actually doing it wrong. There, there is a wrong, right? <laughs> when it comes to this kind of stuff, you're, you're untraining a whole lifetime's worth of habit where your body's concerned. So you want to, yes, you want to correct, but if you're, if you're doing the correction so hard that you're building more tension in a, just in a different way, then it's counterproductive. So you have to try and find that balance between, small yeah, small, small steps, Renfield, you know, small <laughs> steps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to find that. In between. So balance is a good, yeah, oh, there, balance, balance you know, one of those things. Oh, my God. <laughs> Valerie, you had something. Um, I think you had said something besides a whole bunch of stuff that was really important, but <laughs> you know, you, you said you've been working on this for like 25 years and you're not done. And I think that's important to hear that, you know, if you think you finished it, then you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> right. so it's, yeah. The work is, it's but, not work. It's not work. It's the attention it's the the feeling and if you just let that go it's actually it's then gone you know anybody who thinks that they've mastered it all but the but the the exciting side of that is like it's just going to get better yes mm -hmm. yes there's yeah. more and there's more like, and there's oh, more wait. unless I'm, this is a little bit better i feel a little bit fl more flow i feel a bit and then, and then it's like oh and this is a little bit better and then this is a little bit better and you know right. suddenly your ear is exactly. burning hot for no reason and it's joy <laughs> and that's exactly it that's that's the fun because it doesn't end right you know yeah. I it's think like i i imagine i'm not a you know i don't play a mu musical instrument anymore but i can only imagine that as one practices and plays it gets better and it gets better and it gets better what you can do. It's the same thing with what we're doing with our bodies here. It gets better and it gets better and it gets better. Right. Yeah. I'm just going to reiterate, you know, that taking a win on, on the a positive effect of each, each time you do it mm -hmm. means that, oh boy, I get to do it again. Oh boy, yeah. I get to do it again. Rather than, oh my God, I'm not getting anywhere with this. Debbie, you had something. 
You're on mute, Debbie. Okay, let me try that. Um, I noticed this time, because I was also like Jonathan, paying more attention to uh, trying to keep the Jade Pill Gate open going back. And I was feeling that when I did that, when I arched back, I was feeling a, a different place. You know, the arch was, was coming from a different place than it had been. So it was opening differently. So I thought that was really, um, that was pretty good. So well, to Valerie's point, yeah, you, it's- Thank you for bringing that up. I didn't mention that, but you're, you're right. It's like, if you are, if you're reaching with the crown as you're doing that, you're opening as you're going back, you're lengthening the spine, so instead of grinding the uh, the vertebrae, your cervical vertebrae, you're you're reaching with it, and you're creating space in your uh, in your spine as you do that, which then is that's cool. <laughs> okay, well, oh Scott, one more, and then we'll, we'll wrap it up. Yeah. I just have to say what Jonathan was saying is I, he could have been reading my mind. I mean, pretty much just everything he said was exactly the same us, thing. Yeah. But what I did, what I realized today, and we were talking about, is what I realized is I wanted to have the intention to do it, to, to have, intention to open my J pillow gate, and then gently reach with the neck towards my collar, as Rick was saying, until I felt a little bit of a stretch, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And that was really, I mean, that was really cranking up the chief for me nice. tonight. Nice, nice. That's good. Yeah, yeah. That, that little bit of a stretch creates some tensegrity there in the connective tissue, and it kind of allows for more chi to flow. So that's 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 pretty cool. Cool. And and thank you for that image, Nick. That was uh, that. I think everybody everybody's appreciating the the collar thing. We'll all start wearing shirts like Jonathan. I stole it from, I stole it from somebody else. So. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't let's start wearing collar shirts. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Okay. Well, thank you all so much. And thank you. Uh, thank you, for Maria. Maria. Thank you, Maria. <laughs> Great week. Great, Great. guys. <laughs> Great. Bye-bye, everybody.